sports is now. Nigeria's senior basketball team, the D Tigers, have been drawn alongside Mali, Uganda, and Rwanda in Group B for the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup qualifiers scheduled to hold in China. At the draw ceremony held at the Canton Tower in Guangzhou earlier today, Guinea, South Africa, Cameroon, and Tunisia are drawn to battle for sole tickets in Group A, while Congo, Egypt, Morocco, and Angola will compete in Group C. Group D houses Mozambique, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire and yet, a yet to be named team. The top five teams will advance to China 2019 that will serve as qualifiers for Tokyo 2020. The qualifiers will dunk off from August 31st to September 15th. Arsenal has ended Manchester United's 25-match unbeaten run in the English Premier League and kept up their hopes of securing a place in the top four. Granite Zaka opened the scoring with a looping shot from distance, which came off the back of Ander Herrera and went over goalkeeper David De Gea. And they doubled their lead three minutes later when Danny Welbeck headed home against his former club after a pinpoint cross from Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. The result means Arsenal remain in sixth place, but are two points off United in fifth with the game in hand. Earlier, James Milner missed a second-half penalty as Liverpool's hopes of securing a top-four spot suffered a blip in a goalless draw against Southampton. Tennis now will number two. Novak Djokovic insists his, his decision to end his association with his entire coaching staff was a mutual one. The serve says it will follow the trend of hiring a highly successful former player, but says it will take his time to make the right decision. Well, from my side, it was just um, time to, to try something new, and I, it's, it's where I felt like I needed also some space and time to, to be kind of by myself and, uh, you know, think things through. And uh, right now I'm at that stage where, where I just don't want to rush things. Um, I'm completely confident in, my, in myself, and, and I believe in the in the process of change that it was going to bring me some some good things and I'm going to take a little bit more time to think of the next person that will be there as a as a tennis coach um, but as I said I don't want to rush into it because Meanwhile former world number one Maria Sharapova set up a match against Eugenie Bouchard with a first round win at the Madrid Open Sharapova beat a Croat Mariana Lucic Baroni 4-6-6 4-6 love Earlier today to set up the clash, Canadian Bouchard called Sharapova a cheater prior to the Russians' return to competitive action in April after a 15-month doping ban. Bouchard, who beat Alice Cornet on Saturday, believes the five-time Grand Slam winner should be banned for life. From sports news, Emmanuel Macron has become president of France. Macron defeated Le Pen by about 65.5% to 34.5% to become France's youngest president. He also becomes the first president from outside the two, two traditional main parties since 1958. Weeks of campaigning, debates and rhetoric on both sides have finally ended as France welcomes its new and youngest president, Emmanuel Macron. Making his first public address since exit polls were released, the new president said it's a great honor and great responsibility to have been elected. 
He thanked the French people from the bottom of his heart and said he was addressing all of France. The president-elect acknowledged the anger of many voters and promised to protect the weakest members of society. He promised to work to renew the links between Europe and its citizens and that his duty is to alleviate fears and rekindle optimism. He said he will fight against the divisions that separate the French people. A while earlier, his rival in the poll, Marine Le Pen, addressed party supporters at their headquarters in Paris. She said she had called Macron to wish him success. North Korea's government says it has detained a U.S. citizen identified as Kim Hak Song on suspicion of hostile acts. A State Department official says the United States is aware of reports that Kim is being detained in North Korea and that it would liaise with the Swedish embassy in Pyongyang, which helps look after U.S. interests in North Korea. Hak Song had previously described himself as a Christian missionary who intended to start an experimental farm at the Pyongyang University of Science and Technology. Local media in North Korea say a relevant institution is conducting detailed investigation into Hak Song's alleged crimes. Afghan officials have confirmed more than 2,000 families have embarked on a forced evacuation following heavy fighting in the city of Kunduz. This comes as the Taliban militants take control of the district of Kala Izao, west of the city. A recent U.S. study suggests more than 600,000 Afghans were displaced by fighting last year a 40% increase on the previous year. Crashes continue in other parts of the city as the Taliban try to increase pressure on the government in both the north and south of the country. And the main news again. The 82 free Chibok girls were today received by the president at the villa. President Mahmoud Buhari said their release is his administration's second anniversary gift to Nigerians. The names of the girls and other details have been released and they are expected to reunite with their families. Also today, the president departed for London for medical follow-up. He also transmitted a letter to the National Assembly for the vice president to take charge. The length of his stay is to be decided by his doctors. A big win in France as Emmanuel Macron becomes the country's youngest president. Thanks for watching the News at 10. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.